Today we're going to look at conjugation of pronominal verbs in the past tense. La conjugaison des verbes pronominaux au passé composé. In the affirmative and the negative. So I'll give you the affirmative. Je vous donne l'affirmative and you'll give me the negative. Negative, okay? Okay? When I first started teaching in the 1980s, I thought that my role was to stand in front of the classroom and lecture to students. And I thought that students' role was to sit there quietly, passively, listening to me and absorbing the content. Problem was, that approach really didn't work. Students weren't learning very much, they weren't engaged, they weren't motivated, and frankly, I wasn't very satisfied with the approach either. Then, in the 1990s, I started reading about constructivism. And very simply put, constructivism just refers to different ways of knowing. But applied to education, constructivism means that students don't learn by simply having knowledge or information transmitted to them. Students learn by building knowledge, by constructing knowledge, by making sense of the world, and building their own understanding individually and collaboratively. At the same time as I was reading about constructivism, information and communication technologies, or ICTs, were becoming much more common in learning and in society in general. And so I started using information and communication technologies in my teaching along with a constructivist approach. And there's a fair bit of literature out there that actually links those two and that argues that information and communication technologies are actually a very effective means of using a constructivist approach. An example of using ICTs with a constructivist approach would be what I did in an education course that I taught here a few years ago. In that course, the students made use of uh, what's called a resource kit or a resource tool on the internet called EduTech Wiki, which functions out of Switzerland. What the students did was they created very brief literature reviews or encyclopedic entries on a topic using the EduTech Wiki. My role was not to transmit knowledge. My role was simply as a facilitator behind the scenes helping students complete the project. So for example, I provided a template for them. I answered their questions and I reviewed drafts. At the same time, the owner of the EduTech Wiki, Daniel Schneider in Switzerland, also helps students with technical questions and with editing. The final product which students produced using this EduTech Wiki was, was a very good example, I think, of a constructivist approach to learning whereby students are not learning because they're being transmitted knowledge, they're learning because they're constructing and building their own understandings. <laughs>